Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. So why am I quick to support OFWs? Um, first thing I would say is they're normally underpaid. Um, you often see things where they've had abuse in China or the Middle East. Um, they're underpaid, they've been away for years sometimes. Um, they're on the bum end of the deal. Um, they got relatives sat at home saying, give me money for this, give me money for that. Um, and when they go home, they spend everything they've saved on family, etc. Because the whole portrayal is these are the country's heroes. Now, I say that biting my lip because it's all about stopping people arguing. First thing you've got, if, if a country says you're a hero, you can't really throw it back in their face when you've been exploited as cheap labor. Um, in the same way, you can't really complain about your family um, when you're actually supporting that family every way possible and look to some shining light or a credit card or cash machine. <laughs> um, but the reality is OFWs have frustrations, but they can't air them. They know when family are abusing things, but won't say because it's an elder relative or an aunt or something, because it's often, the, funny enough, the ones that send other people abroad that sit there complaining the most, yet they're benefiting more out of the person working overseas. Um, it's just a bad scenario. That's why, I, you know, I'm quite happy to give a voice. I get, I do get some abuse for some of the stuff I do say, which is uh, basically the uh, families need to get a grip and get off their backsides. You know, a lot of families are just sitting around on the in the Philippines because they send like one abroad and then 10 people sit on their backside um, living off them. Um, it's basically the UK's unemployment system um, without being related because obviously the UK employment system um, you just pay heavily in tax to have layabouts where the Philippines you have to be related to get the same payouts you know and I know people that sit there and they're discussing I'm gonna buy this for my motorbike I'm gonna do this when it and it's their sister, their brother, their uncle, whatever, sending them harder and money to these layabouts that just don't want to work. You know, I know in the Philippines, people will say it doesn't pay to work. I would say nonsense. I say nonsense. In the UK, I say it's nonsense. Um, work isn't just about money. Work is about self-respect, dignity, pride, standing on one's own two feet um, and ethics and a lot of people don't have those because they're living on handouts the UK is full of people exactly the same they're, they you know you've got fourth generation benefit people they're just scroungers um, it doesn't matter who they are where they're from they're all the same they're, they're just a pain in the backside um, and deserve nothing now that's why I'm quite aggressive on this because RFWs won't say anything. I've talked to RFWs directly. Um, and the RFW, by the way, if I haven't mentioned already, is an overseas Filipino worker. Um, I've talked to them directly about it. And they'll talk to me about their frustrations and agree with what I've got to say and actually put some input saying what makes, you know, what, what their grievances are and they can see that they're never going to retire because their family are robbing them blind to the point that they can't invest in their own homes they can't invest in their own family um and i've seen it in the uk where everything's sent home so the family in the uk is riddled with debt they're just keeping above the um well they're pretty much on the poverty line they're waiting for the door to knock for bailiffs they, are, they have nothing, yet the family are like, give us money, give me money. The family can go to hell. Um, and that's why I'm quite strong on it, because I see what these people do to OFWs. Um, and the other side of this, I was watching, 
I was talking to an Indian about, guy about this because um, it's quite common there for suicides when people go back home. Because what happens, all those years you're in OFW or you know, you're know you working overseas, so here you are, send all your money home, you go home, you're the greatest guy going, everybody celebrates you, they all come and see you when you arrive because you're paying for all the meals and all the parties and the drinks. And then eventually you go home to retire. You may have very little money and nobody gives a toss about you because you've got no money anymore all that happiness and that is gone because it went with your money up in smoke um so yes i support rfws um a lot more than a lot of families do because i think they deserve a lot more respect um people that are that committed to do whatever it takes for their family deserve a lot more out, out of their families they need to learn to appreciate what they have because these people work bloody hard um it really annoys me as you can tell um go on myself you know when i'm when i've had hard times i'll just do whatever it takes i'll work doing whatever i have to do to get ahead again um and i think rfws have that mindset but the problem is they've got this trail of layabouts that sit behind them um now i know there is some positives and I know even um, the expats have had the layabouts from the wise family. You've had the ones that they have did a course and you've just spent whatever thousands of pesos getting the course for them. They've done a week from some, I don't really like it, so I'm not going anymore. Because they didn't pay for it. They don't appreciate money. It's not their money. Why would they be bothered? And that's what comes from actually having a job. It doesn't matter if the job only pays 6,000 pesos a month or 20,000 pesos. The whole point is work ethic, responsibility, respect, dignity, and respecting the people around you. And it comes from putting some effort in. When it's all freeloaded, they don't value nothing. All right, thanks for watching.